Are you experiencing stress, anxiety, or unhappiness? Do you feel weighed down by the past? Stay tuned for a special message from Roland Trujillo, host of the Shedding Shackles radio program. For over 25 years, Roland Trujillo has been helping people shed the shackles of unhappy memories, consisting of upset, hurt feelings, and negative emotions that bind them to the past. Over the years, many people have listened to and benefited from Roland's positive message. Perhaps you too can discover the secret to becoming free from the past and moving forward to live a new life of joy and purpose. And now, here's your Shedding Shackles host, Roland Trujillo. Now, I want to talk about a book that I just wrote. Ooh, first I want to tell you about a book that I'm finishing up. I've been busy lately. I just published a book, beautiful book, on contemplation. But I'm putting together another book, and it'll be ready real soon, within a month. And you know what the title of it is? Roland on Relationships. That's right, it's going to be a collection of some of my very best articles about marriage, about relationships, about family, and it is going to be good. Some of the articles I wrote 15 years ago, and I think you'll really appreciate them. So I'm just going to list some of the titles of the chapters. They were articles, now they're chapters. So you can get a gist of what it's about. So, for example, one of the chapters is entitled, I cheated on my wife, should I tell her? Well, yes, but I have to list a couple of caveats. And one of them is, did you just do it? Well, then you better tell her. But did you do it before you were married? Then you better think twice about telling her. Because if you cheated on her before you were married, she doesn't know, and uh, things are, life is good, okay? But if you tell her something you did long ago, you know what? You're tempting her. That's all you're doing. You're tempting her to judge you and to hold it against you and to have unforgiveness over it. That's all you're doing. So if it was long ago, it might be best not to mention it. But if it was recently, well, then, of course, you know, you got to say something about it. But there again, you got to be careful how you do it. Because if you say, oh, darling, I did something wrong, and can you ever forgive me? Well, then not only does she have no res not only is she tempted to judge you for what you did, but now she's tempted to judge you for your sniveling weakness, putting her in the role of God. And she may not be able to resist playing God and saying, yes, I forgive you, but underneath, underneath, she still has a judgment. You'd be much better off to go off quietly and, and find God, admit to him in your heart what you did, and be sorry before him. That's right. See, only God forgives. See, that's another thing. People think, you know, you, you say to people, can you ever forgive me? Well, all you're doing is casting that person into the role of God. You're tempting them to play God. They can't forgive you. Only God for, can forgive you. So what do you do? You go to the person you said, hey, I did you wrong. I did this and it was wrong and I see it now and I'm sorry. I apologize. And then walk away. Don't expect anything from them. Don't expect them to forgive you. Don't expect to be friends again. Don't expect anything. Clear the air and then walk away. It's that simple. And when I say walk away, I, I don't mean leave you know, leave the marriage. I mean, walk away and go to the living room and watch TV or something. But don't don't hang around and say, Oh, can you forgive me? Oh, I'm so sorry. No, you're just, a, you're just sniveling. You're tempting them to have contempt for you. All right. So that was, that's one chapter. Then another chapter is, um, Are there no more good men left? Ooh, that's one of my favorites. Are there no more good men left? Well, there are. There are good men left. There are good men left, but, uh, well, a lot of them have wrong ideas. See, they, they have wrong ideas about what, it, what, what marriage is all about and so on. 
but they're there and you have to find them but see if you're the right kind of woman and you'll attract the right kind of man it's that simple and if you're the right kind of man you'll attract the right kind of woman so you don't want to you don't want to just go with the you know one that comes along that you have grave reservations about no you don't want that you want to wait for a man who has honor that's the thing here's what you want you want a man that has honor that stands for what's right and has uh yeah, he has kind of a fire in his belly for justice. You want a man like that. Okay, what's another chapter that I have? Um, let me think. How to Forgive and Forget. That's one of my favorite chapters. Ann Landers said, if she, did you ever hear this one? I've said it so many times, I'll say it again. Ann Landers, the famous columnist, newspaper columnist who gave advice to many, many people over the years. They asked her, well, if you could give one piece of advice to people, just one piece of advice, after all these years, what would you tell them? Without betting it, and I laughed, she said, I would tell them to be more forgiving. To be more forgiving, that's the answer. So how do you be more forgiving? Let go of your judgment, let go of your resentment, and that, that's it, that's what it is. Your whole life will improve for the better. Everything about your life will improve for the better if you let go of your judgment your resentment. See, some people are really good at masking it. They say, well, I don't, I don't hate anybody. I don't resent anybody. No, but they have judgment. You know, judging. She judges her husband. She judges everybody. Secretly, and especially her husband, she judges. So, if you can let go of the judgment then your life will improve dramatically. But if you don't, then it won't. It's that simple. All right, so what are some of the other chapters in the book? Oh, here's one. My in-laws are ruining my marriage. That's right. When I used to answer questions on uh, online, that was one of the ones I got all the time. My in-law, my mother-in-law or whoever is ruining up my marriage. So I have, I talk about that. That's a good chapter. So there's a whole bunch of them. They're all good. So if you want the book, just keep listening to this program or checking at the web, checking the website out. Eventually, you'll see it there. Roland on Relationships. The best of my relationship articles going back 15 years.